Oh my goodness. Um, is that? No. No. Hi there. I'm Whiskey Darling. Hi. First and foremost, let me apologize for this atrocious lighting. I don't know why it's terrible. I think it's the time of day that I'm shooting. I have fiddled with my ring lights and everything over and over and over again. And all I'm getting is this sort of like mommy dearest shadow and terribleness. But that's actually okay because this video is not going to be a makeup video. Uh, and maybe I should back up a little bit because some of you who are maybe new here are, so, are probably thinking, well, who cares? I don't even know who you are. Um, just, uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, I typically up until now have only actually primarily have only done makeup tutorials. Um, I'm a fledgling YouTuber. I'm still trying to find my place in this crazy highway of weirdos. Uh, and I, I have been doing makeup tutorials and videos and I, I use tutorials loosely because I don't think anyone should learn from what I'm doing, but just like Paul Rudd or Mark Ruffalo, I contain multitudes and I also have a huge interest in fashion and DIY and thrifting and thrift shopping and vintage clothing. So today's video is actually going to be a thrift haul. <laughs> um, so like I said, if you're new to this channel, I primarily do makeup, but this time I am taking a swing at a thrift haul video. There goes my other ring light. Neat. This is just great. So if you're new here, welcome. Uh, if you're returning, what's wrong with you? And thank you. Thank you for coming back. Um, so like I said, I am not going to do a makeup video, but I will show you what makeup I am wearing today. Uh, just for a little like for the, the for my the diehard makeup fans. I will show you, I'll at least show you what I'm wearing. One of the reasons, aside from wanting to do a thrift video, that I am not doing a makeup video today is because, honestly, there hasn't been anything new coming out that I'm interested in. So I haven't really ordered anything new. In fact, the newest thing that I have is this Tinkerbell palette from ColourPop. And I ordered this, this is like, or I ordered this just about a month ago, and this is about a, like a couple months old. So it's not even new. So I'm not going to do a video, but this is what I have on my eyes. Um, I wish the lighting was better. I apologize. God, you can see my sunglasses marks and everything. Ooh, look at that terrible contour. Uh, the, the, the green in here is fantastic. Here's a little bit of look at the palette. This green right here, mwah, chef's kiss. It's gorgeous. Uh, and then I used this and this. It's a really nice palette. It's that same sort of color pop formula that we know and moderately love uh and you know it's just you're just the same old good formula for a decent price um eight out of ten there's the makeup review so a little bit about why i want to talk about thrifting um is because i actually am a huge thrifter and i do uh sell vintage clothing online for a living uh in addition to making jewelry but in fact this is a vintage piece um it's a little let's see if i can get up it's a nice little 60s sort of dress it's not exactly great for fall but it was kind of warm today so we'll bend some fashion rules and also fashion rules can go fuck themselves um <laughs> i also have these earrings on that i did make they're little moons you can actually find them in my shop brushviolet.com and I've got this little vintage wood bracelet and it's got like fruit on it which is I feel like that's a reason right there to go thrift store shopping because where are you gonna find a bracelet like that not at Zara 
Why I love thrifting so much is not only because I just love finding unique pieces and I actually enjoy the thrill of the hunt. It's all very fun. I also think it's really important to incorporate some sort of thrift shopping or secondhand shopping into your clothes buying habits and I will tell you why. The fashion industry is a huge part of our pollution and global warming problem. They are a huge contributor to green, greenhouse gases. Um, just a little fun fact, between eight or between 5,000 and 8,000 ga gallons of water are required to make one cotton t-shirt. Um, it, the synthetic plastics and everything used to create huge pollution problems. They are up there with some of the big polluters, but no one really talks about it because it's fashion and it seems like how can anything so innocent be a problem? Well, it's a fucking problem. And don't get me started on fast fashion. If you don't know fast fashion are your websites like Shein and Fashion Nova and um, you know, Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, anything that turns out uh, tons of low cost items out of like sort of low quality fabrics that are like on trend. Those are your fast fashion um, places. And they are a huge problem, not only because of all the pollution that I mentioned, but also because they can offer those items so cheap, you have to kind of assume that they are not compensating their employees very well. It's they're often, they're, uh, their factories are often in developing nations. The majority of their workers are women and they pay them very low wages and most likely commit a ton of human rights violations. So when you buy from fast fashion, you are supporting that. So don't do that anymore. And I'm not saying that you have to have a 100% secondhand wardrobe, but look at it this way. Any item that you buy secondhand is actually taking that item out of a landfill. So you can pat yourself on the back and just, you know, feel really good about yourself. And if you are a little bit like wary of thrifting, I get it because there is a hierarchy of thrift stores. There are some thrift stores that are sort of more boutique thrift stores, which are well organized, clean, um, you know, just pleasant to be in. And then there's other thrift stores that are opposite of that. And I do them all. Um, I'm not afraid to throw some elbows and get a little dirty. If that's not your jam, there are so many other options to buy secondhand and to reduce, to, to reduce waste. Um, you can go to consignment shops. Those are usually much better curated. Same thing with places like Buffalo Exchange or Plato's Closet, depending on where you live. Any sort of secondhand reseller like that. Um, and then if you're into online, there's obviously Poshmark, Etsy, eBay, Depop, ThreadUp. Um, and if you want luxury items, you can go to The Real Real or Trade Z. So there's tons of options. And if you've never bought anything secondhand before, I challenge you to at least buy one item from some of the places that I've mentioned. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the quality and how much money you've saved. So there you go. There's my little spiel about why we should thrift shop. And if you're looking for a fantastic place to buy vintage clothing that has already been laundered and um, repaired if it needed it and curated, you can go to brashviolet.com. Okay. So also another reason that I and filming this video now is that we are in the beginning of October, which is spooky month and it's the best month and everyone knows that. I'm not gonna tell you why. If you don't know why October is the best, then I feel sorry for you. But um, so right now, all the thrift stores, not all the thrift stores, a lot of the thrift stores in my area have a lot of vintage clothing out for their Halloween section. So. Uh, this for me is the time that I just go bonkers all over the thrift stores and try to just get my hands on that sweet vintage. I primarily just shop for me. Uh, <laughs> I really should be uh, putting more items in my Etsy shop, but I'm greedy. Anyway, uh, this is also like 
I joke that this is probably like, this would be my villain or superhero origin story, but let's face it, probably villain. Um, about five years ago, I was shopping around this time and I saw this beautiful, beautiful vintage 1970s gunny sacks dress. For those of you who know, you know. For those of you who don't, a vintage, you know, in great shape gunny sacks dress from the 1970s can catch you upward of 200 to $400. So that's, it's a nice, it, it, it's just a very sought after and collectible item. I pulled it off the rack and I looked it over and then I looked from the waist down, it was covered in fake blood. <clears throat> and I feel like it was that day that I vowed to save as many pieces of vintage from a frat boy zombie party. And so that is my mission. And anyway, so yeah, don't, don't, don't put blood on a vintage dress. Please don't. Anyway, um, I think I need to get to this. I need to, I need to get to this video part because this is, uh, so I guess I want to just give a quick intro into this, the next part of my video, because it's not all going to look like this. The lighting does get a little bit better eh, or a little bit different. Let's not say better. Um, so I initially shot a whole amazing video of like, me driving in my car, going to thrift stores. I shot inside the thrift stores. Blog, sort of, uh, day in the life with me, go thrift shopping with me video. And I transferred it to my external hard drive. And then I went to go edit it earlier this week. And I discovered that my external hard drive had crashed. And by crashed, I mean literally crashed off the table because my butthole cats decided to have like a rock star party in the middle of the night and just swatted my hard drive off the table. So all that footage is gone. So anyway, I am now just showing you sort of the aftermath. So there is no shopping portion of it. It's just sort of I'll show you the haul and then I'll do some try on and styling with the pieces. I have this part of the video and it's sort of in two pieces because one I shot at night and then I realized that I thought I had more pieces to show than I did to style uh, because some of the pieces, unfortunately, I had to return because they were either tear like beyond repair and I didn't notice it or they didn't fit. And so then I have to still repair them in my sewing pile. So there, there were some pieces missing. So then I added more, but I shot it the next day. And the reason that the lighting was different is because when it was at night, the lighting was during the day. And the second video also, in between them, I got a new phone. So the video quality is better. I look worse because the video quality is better. I like to sort of a thin, fuzzy glaze between the camera and my face. Just Vaseline style on the lens. But anyway, so that's why it looks sort of patchwork and weird. And it looks weird because I'm weird. So anyway, without further ado, because there has been a shit ton of ado up until now, I will invite you to watch my try on, my haul and try on video. I don't so I did a little bit of thrift shopping today, surprise, surprise. And I hit up two stores and I bought a lot of stuff. But let's, I should just dive in. Oh, by the way, my outfit um, is like half thrifted. Uh, I'm actually kind of proud what I pulled together today. This is a t-shirt that I just got on a little recent mini vacation up into the mountains. My husband and I and my dog uh, went to Breckenridge and then we went to Estes Park. And uh, there was this great shirt. This is new, but I love how it just looks vintage. And I actually ended up cutting, um, it was already cropped sort of, but I ended up cutting the neck and the sleeves a little bit bigger. And this, I don't know if you can see, this is sort of broken ridge. I, I just, I love this t-shirt because it just gave me such like 1980s 
ski movie vibes. Like this is definitely the shirt that like the rich and beautiful, but really, really bitchy, awful, like girl. Movie who is like the focus of the, the poor, the guy who is just like working at the ski slope just to earn some money to go to ski in some sort of ski finals and it's so terrible. But meanwhile, he has this like awesome girl best friend and her name is like something gender neutral like Sam. Probably short for Samantha, but she's so cool. Like, you know, she's just one of the boys, so they just call her Sam. But she has a secret crush on the, the main character guy. But then, she but then there's like another terrible rich dude and he has like lots of money. And like, like have a skiing competition and then it turns out he maybe he loses a skiing competition. And he realizes his, his best friend Sam was the right one for him all the time. And like his dad is like Snow Cloud Rider. Yeah. And the movie is like called some sort of pun on the sloping up or no. Going downhill. And that's what the movie's called. Anyway. So I picked this shirt up in Breckenridge. And I paired it over a, a like a jumpsuit. And I thought that was pretty clever. I know I'm not the first person to think of it, but I'm the first person in my house to think of doing that. And hey, we we take we take the wins wherever we can around here. Um this is a vintage belt that I thrifted, and then these are earrings that I made. You can go to brashviolet.com if you'd like to see more of those types of things. And then I am wearing the um, gray Dansko uh, sort of Oxford slash brogues that I had thrifted a couple weeks ago. My favorite thrift stores in town, uh, the ARC, uh, the ARC thrift stores, um, they have their 50% off sale every Saturday. And so because of that, it is always quite crowded, quite crowded and quite chaotic on Saturdays. Um, so, and I don't know what was going on today, but it was pandemonium with a capital panda. Are you picturing a capitalist panda right now? Like just a little top hat and a monocle and refusing to pay a living wage. Anyway, capitalist panda aside, it was bonkers everywhere but i threw some elbows and i got some really good stuff oh also i brought my friend wine alcohol has made a few cameos on this channel <laughs> so let me show you what i got you guys um let's start with the first one. Oh, let me just show you the volume yeah. Yeah. buckle up my little capitalist pandas it's gonna be a long one so this isn't vintage, and this was actually, oh, this was not on sale, this was full price, and it almost killed me to pay full price, so it was $13, which is more than I like to pay, but I did try it on in the store, and maybe it was the outfit that I'm wearing now, but it just, and it fits so well, and it's this sort of, I think it's just faux suede um, blazer, it does not have pockets. So I'm just gonna do this, um, but I just, and it buttons, eh, $13, not too bad. So that, I think that was good. Um, and the next thing I got, okay, rarely, very, very rarely, can count the times on my hands that I've ever thrifted pants, because I just, I'm grossed out by trying on used pants. And I just, I feel like there's a chance that people have just been raw dogging in these pants. That's beside the point. So I bought these pants. I have my little tape measure on my keychain and I measured them and I think that they should work um, anyway. They were $10, but half, but they were half off. So they were $5 and let's hope they fit. And then I got this belt. Uh, it's actually like, it's, <laughs> It's one of those things that I tell everyone not to do, but I still do it myself. Don't buy things that are just a smidge too small for you and think that you will be able to fit into it. However, this is a little bit small, but I feel like my waist size does fluctuate a little bit, just sort of naturally. So I feel like there's a very good chance of, I mean, they fit ugh, if I just sort of like don't breathe or laugh or anything um but I think there's a good chance that like on a different day they would fit a little bit better and it day this and it's like I 
think it's a vintage belt. Maybe not. I just, I like, I liked it. Um, and then I found like three pairs of boots. And it was weird. Their shoe rack was bare, but it was bare with only the important shoes for me. So I got these little ankle boots. They are comfortable and they are cute. And they were $4. I'm doing the math in my head. So that's what the pause is. Because there are $8 or they are half off. But I don't think that we need to go through this every single time. You know how half off works. So I'm just going to do the math for both of us. But it's just going to take a few seconds longer. Because I'm a liberal arts major. And also I've been drinking wine. And then I got these. They are these little brown like ankle boots and at first I was like these are kind of ugly <laughs> but then I was like oh but I kind of like them and they're Merrell's they were comfortable they're a little bit bigger than I normally wear but I think they'd be great for winter with like a really chunky thick sock okay and then the final pair of shoes I got I thought these were really cute um again I don't know why I was just like I'm gonna find ankle boots but I really again I don't the brand has worn off. I can't see anything on the sole, but they are, these were $8. They're full price, but they're just these little, like little steel or silver tip sort of cut out uh, cowboy boots. And they're cute. Um, I got this dress for $3.50. It's this great sort of late 70s, early 80s, like secretary dress. This is like one of my favorite vibes. It's blue and red and it's got little sort of paisleys and perfect. No notes on you dress. You are perfect. I got this one. It most likely will not fit me. I have a feeling that the bust is too small, but ah, uh, you guys, look, do you, do you see this? So, and it's still got, like, the the lining is a bit rough. There's some pieces that are not maybe, I mean, it's it's intact. I could fix this little lining part. Um, it's got the little tag. This one might end up on my Etsy if it doesn't fit me. Because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I got this amazing little sort of 70s. I think that this was probably a bridesmaid's dress in the 70s. But it's got this wonderful little sheer sleeve and this great little bodice and it's very just like, ah. Uh, this one also probably won't fit me. I don't think it will, but I was being greedy, you guys. This one is also full price. It was $9. If this doesn't fit me, it will be in my Etsy. Oh, oh no, I don't know. Actually, I might have to return this. It's got a few little pulls. Yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, well. It was beautiful. Oh my God. So, my favorite all-time vintage style everything is just this 60s 70s psychedelic prints anything that's like this I love I freaking love it and look at this dress this is like <sighs> now this isn't in the best shape and there's a good chance like the inside lining is eh. and I don't know how much I'm gonna love this top but I can definitely salvage the skirt if I need but it might all stay intact and it might be great we'll find out on the try on and I am just discovering now is that the zipper oh no okay so it's it's ripped at the seam by the zipper but that is something I can actually fix so that's again okay this one you better believe that I'll put every shape where I own into existence to try to fit into this this is what my witchy morticia adams elvira dreams are fucking made of it was i paid full price it was 13 dollars. i'd pay that again i'm hoping that there's no like unfixable flaws 
Uh, just look at this. I think it's handmade. It does. Oh, it does have a, looks like it has a union tag, which is great. Um, I am worried that the arms are going to be small, but oh, let's hold out hope that this fits me because I don't care if I don't have anywhere to go. I'll wear this every night and make my husband think that I plan on murdering him because that is the outfit that a murderous wife would wear. Murder him for the insurance money. Allegedly. I'm not going to murder my husband. I promise. And the final piece. This one, I just grabbed. This was not in the vintage. It's new. It's actually new with tags. It's um, the brand Sugar Lips. And it was $13. It's a little wrap dress. I didn't even try it on. I just grabbed it. So there's a good chance it won't fit. But... <gasps> Okay, so this is probably going to be a keeper. Um, I will do the try. I will probably show you when I try it on. So this was, this was seven fifty, and it's got these beautiful. It's I love stars and moons and anything that's witchy. So it's just got this. It's a long maxi wrap dress with that. So it's amazing. I am gonna launder all of these, and then uh, once those are all done. Um, I'll shoot a little try on and styling video for you guys. Oh, hello. This is a different part in time. I have traveled. So that last little segment I shot, uh, I shot that a week ago. And then um, I realized that those, the items that I have were not enough to put together any sort of looks or really not that much for a actual try on portion of a video because uh, I ended up having to return three of the items and then I will remember you Will you remember me Don't let these clothes pass you by Weep not for the clothing. So the good news is I have a huge thrift shopping problem. And of course I've already been thrift shopping since then. And I have some new items that I can just sort of throw into this whole video. So sort of patch it together with just different shopping trips. So I'm just going to dive right in. Um, actually, uh, I'm already like wearing one of the items that I showed you in the previous segment um that sort of witchy starry dress um but we'll get into the styling of this after I show you some of the other pieces that I picked up um on different thrift store shopping trips and we'll just sort of piece together some really great fall outfits that's my plan okay the first one that I got this is uh it's not vintage but it is second hand it's just this really great red flannel or not flannel red plaid pencil skirt it it is so Vivian Westwood that's what the vibes it gives me and that's Vivian Westwood's one of my favorite designers so there we go so that I will be styling um and then because apparently I just broke something uh, apparently I'm just on a plaid kick I got another plaid skirt but this is like a plaid maxi skirt this is perfect for fall um this will also be fun to style I got this belt. <laughs> this is not vintage either. It's like from the limited. Uh, but it's just, it's so great and witchy. I love it. Oh, uh, full disclosure, probably all of the outfits that I put on and all the styling tips are going to be very witchy centric because it is October. I'm a bit witchy and it's it's the season to just embrace that with all of its glory. Okay, the next thing I picked up was this great, oh, I should also add that um, at all of these items, I don't still remember the prices or have the price tags on them because they've been laundered, but they were all under $10. I got this like blazer. Um, I don't know what's going on with me. I usually don't buy blazers, but I bought two. The one that, I sh that was in the previous clip and this one. This is just so like, 1970s professor vibes. 
So I got this great top. Um, it doesn't look like much except for when you look at these fantastic bishop sleeves. This is vintage. It's from <laughs> the the label is Cheeky Knits. Cheeky Knits. Uh, this, this top reminds me of something that Michelle Pfeiffer wore in, uh, Dark Shadows. Uh, again, with the plaid, I got this great little wool plaid skirt, A-line skirt, perfect for fall. Um, and it's got just a really nice color scheme that's not just the traditional red and black or black and gray. I like that it's a little bit, um, it zigs a little bit. I got this navy vintage shirt, also from the 60s or 70s. Uh, the sleeves are, they're okay, but what I really love is this dagger collar. And it's sort of that 70s does 40s look that vintage did. This next one is just sort of a basic brown secretary top, but I love anything with a tie. This is a really good staple to have. Next, I got this great 70s pleated secretary dress and then finally I have this fantastic vintage I think it's a 70s pleated maxi skirt I have several of these I don't know why I keep finding them but I just love they are great for the winter because they have like a nice weight I love this sort of saturated jewel tone which apparently is another fall trend I don't know uh, but I just liked it so I think we're gonna have fun styling all these items so let me get started and luckily i'm already wearing one of the things this is the wrap dress i styled it with this uh sunflower necklace that i picked up at an estate sale these vintage wood earrings a vintage wood bracelet uh this vintage belt and these jeffrey campbell wedges or not wedges jeffrey campbell platforms there we go that I got on Poshmark. So this entire outfit is all secondhand or thrifted. So. Okay, so that this is one way to style it. I'm gonna show you, this would be like sort of the day witch or the boho witch. Day witch, fighter of the night witch. Ah. Anyway, uh, this would be, I guess the day witch outfit. Let's just throw on this blazer from the previous segment. Um, and let's just say that the day witch turns into business witch. I like this. I like this a lot. This is great for fall because you can layer, especially like, you know, when you're going out uh, during the day, it's going to be a lot warmer. And then once the sun goes down or starts to go down, the temperature drops pretty quickly in the fall. So you'll have this on hand. And again, I just, I really love the way this blazer fits. And business witch means business. Okay, so next I'm going to go into a, a night witch look with the same dress. Okay, so here is the night witch look. Uh, night witch does a little bit more cleavage. This is the belt that I just showed you uh, in my last thrift haul. Um, I paired it with this vintage purse that I got, I believe, at an antique store. Um, I'm also wearing these. Let me just take them off because it's hard to see. These... Uh, thrifted they're actually kim kardashian heels but um they were cheap and they were secondhand so i'm okay with that and then i also am pairing them with these uh macrame pentacle earrings that i made you can get a pair in my shop brashviolet.com if you are interested um so that is the night witch look okay I'm gonna try this snappy thing to see if I can like do that whole thing where people like look like they're just transplanted into. <sighs> I'm gonna try some witchy crap that I saw on TikTok. So let's try the next outfit. Magic. So I just swapped out the dress for this shirt, the bishop sleeve shirt and the plaid pencil skirt, but I kept the belt and the little pentacle earrings. And uh, I'm wearing the same uh, Kim Kardashian spiky shoes, but I swapped out also this little vintage wicker purse. I'm calling this look business witch after hours. 
like when business witch goes out for some cocktails and some schmoozing this is what she would wear for business witch to get business witch drunk okay let's move on to the next one shall we okay i'm calling this like maybe pta witch so again i kept the same earrings because i love them and i worked so hard on them uh, and I kept the belt and the shirt, but now I'm wearing those um, corduroy pants. They are a little tight, but I think that, you know, I can be pretty confident in them and it's fine. You know, life's too short to not wear clothes that you like. And I also added this little scarf. Um, this is obviously vintage as well. I believe I got it at the thrift store. I'm sure I did. But I have been trying to challenge, I have so many scarves, I'm trying to challenge myself to wear more of them. So I think this could be cute to sort of maybe pin with a brooch or just like this or even like this. Or you can tie them in your hair, which maybe I'll do in another styling outfit. Okay, so. PTA witch has got to go raise some eyebrows at the PTA meeting. Okay, I think we could call this Bookstore Witch. So this is the plaid skirt that I got, the same black bishop sleeve top. Uh, I switched out the belt for this vintage uh, 19, 70s, 1980s, probably 1980s, flower elastic belt that I thrifted. Um, I am wearing these great Aquarius, vintage Aquarius earrings, because that's my son. I got those off of Etsy, I believe. Uh, and then I am wearing those little ankle boots that I got. Uh, and the brand on these are Diva. Uh, so a little update to the previous section. And yeah, I am really digging this look. Uh, actually, I could even add one more thing. So I was trying to find a necklace to wear with this, but actually I think maybe the scarf would work in this scenario as well. So there you go. All right. So that was Bookstore Witch. I think I have exhausted the options for this black top. So we will move on. Okay. I'm calling this look Artist Witch because it's just, it, I don't know. I just, I feel very artsy in this outfit. Um, so it's just the same scarf from the previous look. I just use it as a little kerchief. Um, same Aquarius earrings, the belt from the very first look, and then this is my vintage uh, Vivian Westwood bag that I got off Poshmark for a steal. And then I just have the Jeff uh, Jeffrey Campbell platforms. Whew. Artist Witch is acting a little high right now. Okay, so on to the next look. Okay, this is Rock and Roll Witch. Uh, maybe she's a, I don't know. She's, she sings some kind of really cool music that you haven't heard of yet. Anyway, uh, so I paired it with this um, Forever 21 vest. I, of course, didn't buy it at Forever 21. I did buy it at a thrift store. You know, let's not buy into fa fast fashion. That same belt that was in my previous video. Uh, and then these, those silver pointed shoes that I got. So, oh, and then these earrings are amazing. Let me show you. These are stained glass moon earrings that I got off of Etsy. And if I remember the seller, I will put that in the link. I love the little like cheekiness of that little like, oh, peekaboo and the vest and everything. I just think this is like a really cool look and it also still works for fall so just matching it with black i think really works very well i apologize for my hair it is so hot right now in this room and um i can't turn my ac on because that would be annoying okay on to the next look okay i'm going with calling this art gallery witch uh not to be confused with artist witch because this is the one who has some money and, you know, wants to sort of, I don't know, wield her impeccable taste over people. I don't, I, I don't know. She probably sucks a lot and is intolerable to be around, 
but she has really great fashion taste. So this is the skirt that I showed you earlier, the pleated one, and I mixed it with this navy blue top, the one that has the dagger collar that's sort of the uh, uh, 70s does 40s. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but just if you look at the way that this collar is buttoned, it it just really has, um, oh, it, I love, I love it. And then it came with a tie that is detachable. So I have that. Um, and I think it would be really cool too. Also, if you tied the tie like you would a necktie, I can never do it on myself though. So I didn't, so I just kind of tied it. Um, and then I have these earrings that I got from an estate sale. They are vintage 1960s. And then I pulled my hair back for that sort of insufferable, annoying art critic, art gallery owner look. Anyway, I like this one. Ah! And I'm gonna trip over things. So anyway, let me, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Okay, I don't know which one this is. If this is just practical 1970s mom witch or horse riding witch, uh, equestrian rich, equestrian, which sounds kind of cool if you could say it. So I think maybe we'll go with that. Um, just that 70 or that six, 1960s, 1970s, probably 70s um, secretary top with that belt. Um, I had a hard time styling this belt with things. It really changes the course of an outfit and sometimes not for the best. So uh, I think I did an okay job. And then I just absolutely love this maxi A-line plaid skirt. I think it is perfect. It's just perfect. Um, I couldn't ask for more. And I was having trouble trying to figure out how to style in these weird merrells that I got. But I think for just sort of this almost like casual but chic outfit, they kind of work. I don't know that I'd pair it together in real life, but I wanted to at least style the, those shoes in an outfit at least once. So I don't know. I think this one can work okay. It's not my favorite, but I like all the pieces, and since I was just trying to challenge myself to sort of limit it to the things that I recently got. Uh, okay, let's go for the next one, and I think we just have one after that. Okay, this is pretty much the same outfit as before, except for I added that blazer, and I am calling this the witch that fights Buffy in season three. I don't know. It just gave me, like, vibes of, like, um, a professor at Sunnydale, um, who turns out to be evil. And I like that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to go to the final look. Anyways, I think it looks great. I am impressed about how much, uh, how often I can use this blazer already. Okay. Let's go to the final look. Okay. I think this one is either temptress witch sex pot witch or evil witch or all three um so there's not like a ton of ways to style this dress because admittedly it is quite costumey um i think you could wear this to a if you were going to a really fancy event you could wear it you might want to tone down the accessories obviously not lean too far into the witch like i would almost have minimal accessories with this and just let this neckline do the talking but since I wanted to have fun with this, I kind of wanted to vamp it up a little bit more like Halloween-esque. So I am wearing those um, moon earrings that I was wearing previously. Uh, I've got this little vintage cuff, um, this vintage tiger belt, and then one of my vintage Lucite purses. Uh, I also think that this would be a great just subtle witch costume. You could even add like a tiny hat if you wanted, or you could do like devil horns or something so if you want if you were going let's say for like a more mature halloween i suppose like maybe you're not going to a bar maybe you're just going to like i don't know some place where you have to kind of have a costume you could totally get away with just wearing this and being just a witch it would also work very well if you wanted to be samantha from bewitched you could just have this and the black hat and you know learn how to wink ring ring wrinkle your nose, wiggle your nose. So anyway, obviously this is a bit over the top for everyday wear, but that's just sort of the style of the dress, but I still think it's fantastic. I couldn't pass it up. It is a little small in the bust, but I don't care. 
you're not getting this dress. This is my dress. This is my dress. Even if I have nowhere to wear it, even if I just lounge around and look at my husband like suspiciously or menacingly, I think that could be fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this try on. Um, I hope that I showed you some things that maybe you never thought of to do before. Um, oh, oh, by the way, I forgot. I almost forgot. So I am, I paired it with these incredible Jeffrey Campbell heels. Um, I'm showing you these because they will be on my Poshmark. I love them. I do not wear them as often as I should. And I think they need to go to someone with stronger ankles. So these will be in my Poshmark at some point. I will link my Poshmark down. Um, anyway, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. Look at how like much shorter I got when I took these heels off. Oh, I'm a tiny witch. I'm just a tiny witch. Okay, well, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. All right, that was the try-on video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, it was my first one, so be gentle on me, but feel free to give me any sort of... Um, compliments or critiques or compliments about the video or let me know what you'd like to see next time let me know maybe what your favorite piece was that I styled I hope you liked it anyway if you did please uh subscribe like this video all of that helps me a lot um and I will see you next time thank you Mwah. I still don't know how to close out a video ah now go buy some vintage. No. All right. Now let's go thrift. No. Merry thrift, miss. Anyway, hey, be careful out there. And don't buy fast fashion.